so I came back to the uh, Bentang um, indoor market. Came to buy myself the folding folding backpack, or the foldable backpack. So uh, this lady's been giving me a good price. So. Now I'm just chilling in the park. Yeah, so this park is right uh, across from my hotel and it's a nice place to chill out. The day is overcast but extremely humid. And so I bought the, um, the backpack. I just want to show you what it looks like. So it's like the foldable backpack and it goes up to 17 liters. But the, the cool thing about those guys is that when I travel, um, I usually just throw this in my bag and um, it doesn't take up much space. And also I use it as a cushioning for some of my gear, you know, uh, the cameras and so forth. So it actually protects that as well. And then uh, when I get to a place, uh, instead of moving around with my big traveling bag, I just use this one as my day pack. And that is so convenient and so cool and it's lightweight and that's how we roll guys that's how we roll so I've had one in fact I have a few at home uh, back in Cape Town but the one that I brought along with me now has torn and it's torn in the place where you can't actually sew it back on so oh man that's also not the greatest quality and so I bought this one even though it says <laughs> North Face I'm sure it's a knockoff anyway but we don't have, we have North Face brand in Cape Town, but I haven't seen any of these um, foldable backpacks or the folding backpacks at, the, at any of the stores, unless I find it at the flea markets or so, but I haven't seen it at the stores. So um, even though it's a knockoff, you know, it might help me for maybe two or three or even four more <laughs> travels. It's okay. The one I had was uh, was a cheap one as well, and it, and it lasted me for about, I think about seven trips. And uh, granted that I carry um, uh, my gear in there, my cameras and so forth, um, and my uh, power bank. So it's, uh, it gets quite heavy when I add everything into it. So um, hopefully this one will help me. I paid, uh, what did I pay for this? $10. I paid $10 for this thing. So not a bad deal. I think it was okay. And uh, also helping somebody because I didn't buy it at one of the brand shops. I bought it from the market at... Ben Tang, Ben Tan. <laughs> Can't get it right. I bought it at Ben Tan uh, market. So there you go, guys. So there's AC in the room, there's a nice big screen TV, and look at this guys, the, um, they kept the, the fittings and everything like industrial, it looks like, uh, uh, like the water pipes and stuff, alright, so some glasses, then we've got the uh, kettle station with some tea, and coffee and a cookie so there were two each i've already had that and then also complimentary water so that's great and then there's also a mini fridge there's nothing in at the moment as you know in uh, vietnam they had stuff stacked in there but you had to pay for those things 
and uh, look at the bed which is a king sized bed that's really cool that and check the um, I just wanted to show you the balcony All right. it's really small though but it's just to like I think people just want to catch a smoke break or something out you know um, check here is a uh, Honda dealership right outside my back door <laughs> So this place is really in an industrial area, guys. It's closed it up. It's in an industrial area. Well, let me just show you the bathroom. Right, so I'll wow, stack those things up there. That's the bathroom sink with the mirror, the toilet, and then the shower, uh, which is what they call the efficiency so it's the uh, all-in one but it is quite spacious anyway so that's not bad my bag and check out those cool lamps check i like the uh backdrop the wall and that's the outside window uh just forgive my goodies out here guys i've had a a late night snack session going on i went down to 7-eleven and I want to get myself some snacks because I didn't have any food on the plane. Uh, I flew with uh, Vietjet Air and there were no food. There were food, but they were on sale. And obviously I didn't want to, I didn't buy anything. I didn't have any cash on me and they wouldn't take credit card. You see the uh, fittings they have here. So there's the uh, space for the, uh, the desk space. And so there was a 7-Eleven right up the road from me. I just went to go and get some goodies. So I got the uh, noodle, the instant cup noodles with Tom Yum Kung flavor. Um, that was really good, guys. So there's also a fork on the inside. And then uh, for something hot and spicy, I got some Lay's. Um, it doesn't really say it. It's not in English, though. And then I also got my favorite sneakers. And also Milo bar. So that was just to keep me going. But as you can see, I haven't even finished those Milo bars and the uh, and the sneaker bar. Desperate times uh, calls for desperate measures. So I'm just walking down the street, uh, so you can see what the area looks like. It's about two and a half kilometers from the airport and because I came in so late last night I didn't feel like having a long drive into the city and then I just decided to book something close by in fact I booked this accommodation while I was sitting on the airport in um, Vietnam it's okay it's got everything I need and uh, I just wanted a place to crash really and obviously <laughs> but you still want to take somewhere that's clean and tidy and neat so not too bad guys this is not the classic banker it's really really uh, community. it's really their place you know this is not a tourist zone not at all you can actually see the planes flying over there on that side so that's how close to the airport I am. But guys, so my flight's only at uh, nine this evening. So I've got some time in Bangkok still. I can still do some stuff today. And so then I've decided to, to finish my business. You know, I've got some unfinished business here in Bangkok. I didn't visit the Royal Palace. I did actually, but a, uh, it was difficult getting into the entrance it was quite full on the day it was so hopefully it won't be as full today so i can actually go and visit that buy some time and maybe visit the one or two malls as well which i didn't get to visit and then make my way back to cape town south africa very excited to go back home uh, normally i'm sad uh, when i have to go back home and even though I'm sad now to leave Bangkok and uh, Southeast Asia as a whole, 
I'm quite excited because I've already got my next uh, I've already got my next trip planned. This is not the end of it, but for now, let me just uh, get back to my hotel, get sorted, and then uh, get ready to check out, and then move on to the other attractions that I've missed out on. So that's my hotel, BA Apartments. It's actually really modern guys, they've actually fixed it up really nicely. It's got I think five floors all together. And uh, I'm on the first floor so I'm right here.